Hello everyone. Thank you for visiting my channel and taking your sweet time to listen to my story. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this content. To my returning subscribers, thank you for your continued support. I have previously shared four letters from a group of six which were written by a military wife to her husband who was serving as an Air Force member during World War II. I have titled the series Love in the Time of War. Today, I will read the fifth letter where Mona is very expressive about her love for her husband and the baby's growth. Her tone has shifted from on tenterhooks to a more positive and vibrant nature. She makes fun of her age, which indicates her jovial sense, despite the uncertainty of her husband's condition. She is unsure if he will return home, if he will be sent to Tokyo, or if a fast shipment of troops will be sent home. I have titled this letter, I love you so much and always will. Please enjoy the series. Thank you. Friday, August 24th. Darling, a nice sunny day. We may go into town. Imagine how fast the baby is growing. She needs new shoes again. Almost every two months, she needs a larger size. She walks around continually, and it's exciting as anything. Finally got some mail from you today. I was convinced you were on your way to Tokyo. I feel that once the occupation of Japan is over, there'll be a fast shipment of troops home. Maybe by New Year's, we'll be keeping that date. Sounds pretty good. Wonderful to me. I hope you have the minute here by now. I think you'll be awfully proud of your little daughter. Sam is coming out to take Carleen home for a few days. I hope the rest of the summer, as she is a case. Sonia's baby is very cute. Well, today is my birthday, and I don't feel a bit older than 100. It's hard to believe I'm really 28. It used to seem like the end of everything when we reached such an advanced age. Yet, my life is only beginning, I feel. Bye for now, sweetheart. I love you so very much and always will. Mona